Hey, how you doing? So, the week that was, in a nutshell. I really gotta start remembering to put my... My wife keeps moving the microphone when she's trying to look at something on my screen, so... Hi, how's it going? Um, pretty short week. Didn't actually knock out a couple of books, though. I'll get to those in a second. Obviously, big thing we did on Monday, we closed on our new house, and by Tuesday, we were ripping up carpet, because... This is, this is what I married into. It's my own fault. I picked her. What can I say? All right. So we're doing a lot of that. However, I had been pulling in the drive on a couple of books. So those are finished. First of all, I finished up Wilding Hall by Elizabeth Han. And that's all I'm going to tell you about that because Saturday, June 22nd. Sounds right. Uh, author Paul Jessup and I are going to get together. We are going to discuss that book. We are probably going to discuss the movie Wicker Man, the old one with uh, Edward Woodward, and, uh, you know, whatever else comes to mind. So I'll get you a time as soon as I got it, but we're, we're doing it that Saturday. So holding off on our review until after we have the discussion, just so that there's no spoilers um, on what we, what we decided. So knock that out. I also finished up Five Broken, five broken Blades. By my, I believe it's my, it's like M-A-I. Hold that thought. Insert, you know, fun montage right here. I just finished it up and then I closed it because that, that's what I do. Five Broken Blades by my Corland. Sorry. I knew I was going to mess up that last name if I didn't look it up. Uh, and I will get a review out for that one soon. I just finished that this morning. Those are the books I finished up. Uh, I got started on uh, We Were Birds, and I don't have that name in front of me, and that's on my Kindle, but that's the new book that I'm on. You check out my Goodreads. You can see what I'm reading. All right, so that is all the book news. Sorry I'm going to be making this pretty fast. I've got some stuff coming up. Just trying to knock this out. It's been a very busy week. I know I was supposed to have the video out on what we are, you know, how to support a book habit without breaking the bank. However, I started to put that together from all the stuff that I recorded and realized that my audio was not on point. So I, I got to start over. It was, I tried fixing a couple of things and it just wasn't good enough. And I, I'm trying to make this one of my better videos. So we're going to, we're going to do a little re restart on that one. But I am working on it. That will be coming out. What's coming up? Uh, obviously, it's not next week, but I do have the Paul Jessup, for lack of a better phrase, buddy read. Uh, we're going to be doing that live. And then Wednesday, July 19th, which is also not next week, but is also coming up. And we don't have an exact time on that, but I will be having the interview with Jen Lyons about her new book, The Sky on Fire. Uh, I already have my review out for that, so you already know it's excellent, but we will be talking, talk about how the book came to be, any little suggestions that she might have for writers out there, and, you know, see maybe what's next in line, which I actually don't know yet, so I, that's not a tease. I've got no clue. She might, she may be retiring, for all I know, taking all of her, uh, you know, royalties and moving to the Bahamas, because, you know, authors make that much, but that's besides the point. All right, so I said, got to wrap this up. I got something coming up real quick. I apologize for the shortness of it, but there really wasn't a whole lot more to talk about either. So I'm getting to the point where I'm just rambling. As always, and you'll also see it in the description down below. First and foremost, you want to buy a book, reach out to your local independent bookstore. Love those guys. They don't pay me to say that because I have no idea who your local independent bookstore is. But that's still who I say, shop there first. If you're in one of the towns and there's plenty across America that doesn't have a local one, if you like audiobooks, reach out to Libro.fm. Libro.fm, yes, I do have an affiliate link on some of my book reviews, unless, of course, it's an Audible exclusive, which there are occasionally Audible exclusives. But reach out to them, uh, Libro.fm, check them out. When you buy an audiobook from them, you get to designate your quote-unquote home independent bookstore and they actually share some of the profit with with a local independent bookstore instead of sending it to the uh to the big guy over at amazon however if audiobooks are not your thing and you 
absolutely don't have an independent bookstore near you, then yes, there is nothing wrong with uh, picking up books from Amazon. Like I said, especially like the Audible exclusive. Oh, that's the other one I just finished up. I finished up, uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this last week, but I finished up Stormfront by Jim Butcher recently, and that one is actually an Audible exclusive. You can't get it through Libro. So for me, yes, I do love the independent bookstores, but it's also about the authors. If you want to support an author, then you know you can check out Amazon. And I do have affiliate links there too on my book reviews. There is no shame in reaching out to Amazon. Like I said, just always think about your local bookstore first. They're the ones that host the author events. They're the ones that have those books right in front of you that you can pick up, thumb through, read the first chapter, see if you like it. Just the first chapter. Yes, I'm talking to you. And that guy that stopped at Books a Million one time, and I picked up the book because he'd left it sitting on the thing, and it was like Cheeto dust through the entire book. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. The rest of you, though, behave yourself. You know how it works. It's all good. All right. I will catch you later. I have got to wrap this up. I know I've said that a couple times now, but no, seriously, like right now, I have something this very minute. I'm going to shut up now. Take care, guys.